So, make a mark as an modern artist. On the agenda today, I'll be talking about the research that I'll be doing for my project, the timeline in which it will span over, the right songwriting aspect of the project, the recording and release of the EP, the branding, my launch gig at the end of the project, and what evaluation I'll be conducting throughout. So, uh, for my final major project, project, I will be creating a four song EP with a launch gig at the end and all the accompanying promotion and branding. I chose to do this for my FMP because I feel like it will give me skills for my career that I will use going forward, as well as giving me skills that I'll be using when I go into higher education to study songwriting at university. So, this is the time, milestone timeline to give you an idea of the major events that are going to be happening through my project. Starting at March 7th with the first song recorded, ending on May 26th with the release of the EP. You can see what happens between those two dates. So, I'll be conducting thorough research for my project um, as the timeline, the timescale of the whole project doesn't really allow for much error. Um, so, to avoid setbacks, thorough research is really going to help me make things go smoothly. So, the first area of research that I'll be doing is about songwriting. Um, the, the aspects of songwriting I'll be wanting to study are genres, chord progressions, scales, demographic, right through demographic, uh, lyrics and song structures. Um, to gain knowledge on these areas, I will be using three different types of research. I'll be looking on online websites and videos. I'll be reading a book called How to Write One Song by Jeff Tweedy and I'll be conducting interviews with local musicians. Um, here are some of the artists that I find inspiring with songwriting. We've got Julie Jacqueline, Elliot Smith, I'll be looking into all these artists on where I take my inspirations from. So for the two interviews that I'll be conducting, they're both local musicians, both in the indie folk genre um, and singer-songwriters himself. The first is Melanie Baker. I'll be conducting the interview over Zoom and I'll be asking Melanie about live performance with the drummer because my launch gig will be involved in that, um, merchandising, lyric writing and organising a launch gig. With Emma Dockery I'll be asking some different questions, it will also take place over Zoom or possibly in person if we can find availability um, and I'll be asking her about writing collaboratively, studio recording, branding and music videos. So, for the recording aspect of my research, I'll be looking into how to make the most of my studio time for when I do get into the studio to record the EP. I'll be looking up production time so I can communicate effectively with my engineer. I'll be looking up how to distribute music on DistroKid, different streaming and broadcasting platforms and the royalties that accompany each platform. And here are some artists that I find have inspiring production that I'll be looking into to find a bit more about them. So branding and promotion wise, um, I'll be looking a lot into the visual part of branding, how to get a good image involving album covers, how to make my social medias look coherent and uh, eye catching um, and audience engagement so looking at the analytics for each platform and for my music. And you can see the kind of inspiration that I'm going for and what I kind of want to recreate with my branding. So I'll be looking a lot into this artist called Julia Jacqueline and her albums. So for branding and promotion, I'll be speaking to two people um, for my primary research. Christy Cremins is a graphic designer and Anya Swan is a communications professional who specialises in social media analytics. With Christy, I will be discussing logos, colour schemes, fonts, merchandise and posters. As a qualified graphic designer, I'll be able to get good input from her. And with Anya Swan, we'll be discussing social media analytics and how to make them work for me, promotion campaigns and how I can get some newspaper and magazine coverage. So, looking into research in the launch gig, I'll be looking at local support acts that I might be considering, uh, local venues that will be appropriate for my gig, Ticket prices, stage presence, and performance techniques. Um, there's some examples on the bottom of places that I'll be taking inspiration from. Um, Melanie Baker did a launch gig for her EP a few years ago, 
um, that I found insp inspiring and I would like to recreate some of the aspects from that. <coughs> so, right in the EP. I've chosen to write an EP to showcase my work at the best of its ability. So I'll be learning skills that I'll be able to use in my career, so like professionalism, and um, promotional skills, how to network, how to be good in the studio. Um, I feel like it'll be a challenging EP to write, a challenging FMP to write a whole EP, but I really feel like I'm going to enjoy it and it really suits my skill set as a student and an artist. <coughs> So it will be four original songs inspired by my personal experience and that's what I will be writing on, as is my usual writing style. <coughs> it will be written largely alone but with some input from peers. So either my classmates or musicians that I know and getting their ideas. It will be in the style of indie folk with one acoustic track that I'll be recording in the college studio with James Maxwell. It will be the rest of the tracks will be professionally recorded and, and released on all major streaming platforms. <coughs> Excuse me. So these are some artists that I will be finding inspire, inspired for their EPs that they released in the past. For the recording and release of the project, so I'll be recording the three songs that aren't the acoustic track with Sunbeam Studio in Penrith. They're a professional recording studio um, and I will be working with producer and engineer Pete Ard who specialises in folk music. You can see my recording timeline here. Um, it outlines where each song will be recorded and the mixing period in between leading up to the release of the EP. <coughs> So, branding and promotion is really important because it builds your relationship with your audience. And that's something that I really want to work on that I haven't really built upon in the past in my music. <coughs> it allows you to stand out and stick in people's minds as a musician. So, you can see my promotion timeline. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> um, so here are some examples of um, other artists' branding and promotion campaigns that I found inspiring. You can see that I'm very much drawn to um, <clears throat> set colour schemes and how that reflects as a brand. <coughs> so, for my promotion, the different ways that I'll be promoting the EP will be largely through a social media campaign because that's where I feel my audience lies um, with people who use social media. I'll be looking at getting newspaper and local magazine coverage, contacting these agencies, and I'll be hoping to get it played on BBC Radio Cumbria's um, BBC Introducing at Everlington. You can see my promotion timeline here, when I'm announcing the EP, announcing the launch gig, and everything leading up to a release. <clears throat> so, you have to excuse me, I have to bring it up to the front. Right. So I did have a little badge to show you, but it's in the bottom of my bag somewhere. <laughs> so, branding wise, the elements that I'll be producing will be CDs. You can see here a CD that I produced with another artist um, a couple of years ago um, and I'll be producing them like this one with the college CD maker um, with, with the accompanying cover, booklet inside and printed discs. <coughs> I'll also be making some tote bags to sell at the launch gig and through the rest of the promotion of the EP. Um, it's just Couple of council to a bag, <laughs> but um, I'll be getting them printed like this, just a plain tote bag with a coloured design on the front. And I did have some little badges that I will be producing with the college badge maker, um, 
you know, these are easy to produce and I'll be producing them to sell as well throughout the promotion. So, for the launch gig that I will be conducting at the end of my project, just before the EP release, I'll be calling it a launch gig or a launch party. I will be having two support acts um, and performing a set of my original music that will be between 45 minutes and an hour long. Um, I plan to host it in a venue in Carlisle um, and for it to be an intimate gig, um, a casual um, atmosphere and me and two acts supporting before my set. So a launch gig can really build your audience ahead of release. It can get people excited, it can get people hyped up along with the rest of your promotion. Um, it gives you an opportunity to sell your merchandise, you're much more likely to sell it at the time of a launch gig than the rest of the promotion. And it gives you networking opportunities um, for people who might be interested in your music to show up to the gig and see what it's about. <coughs> Some venues I've been considering. Um, I will be doing more research into local venues, but I was thinking the source in Carlisle or Cakes and Ale in Carlisle. <clears throat> so here's a video of a gig that I would like to kind of recreate for mine. I don't know if this is going to work. Nope. <laughs> So you can see it's minimal setup, an acoustic um, technical setup. And you can see people sitting on the floor, um, low lighting, quite a casual atmosphere, um, and quite a small venue itself, um, which I feel like will be, um, it'll let me connect with people listening and really promote my gig as me sharing my music with the world. So that was Gigi Perez for So Far Music. So, evaluation. Um, evaluation is really important for any project to reflect on your progress and to see how you're getting on from where you initially thought you'd be at the start of the pro process. Um, it gives you a chance to reflect on how you're going to improve for the next time and it that was another <laughs> so yeah evaluation is just really important to log your progress and make sure that you are performing at the best of your ability so the evaluation points that I will be taking throughout my project um, will be after the completion of writing each song so I'll be producing demos and I'll be bringing these demos to my tutors and my peers to see what they think of the songs and I'll be reflecting on both their feedback and what I personally thought. After the recording of each song, I'll be keeping a diary of reflecting how I felt the recording went, both in the college studio and in Sunbeam studio. Um, prior to the merchandise being created, I will have mock-ups of what all the merch will look like. I plan to use Instagram story polls to um, bring up the options for the mer possible merchandise for people to vote on so I can produce products that people will actually want to buy. And after the merchandise is created, I'll be asking my tutors and my peers um, on what they think of the physical merchandise when it's made. After the launch gig, I will be creating and distributing a Google Forms via social media to people who will be willing to fill it in online for people who attended the event. Um, I'll be asking some qualitative and quantitative questions um, to get some feedback on what they, how they thought the night could have improved and what they thought went well. I'll be reflecting on how it went myself and documenting this on my website. And finally, I'll be evaluating the release of the EP, how I generally thought the progress, the project went, um, so how I thought, how I think it sounds as a finished coherent project. Um, 
I'll be doing some Instagram story polls on um, general questions about the EP, such as what their favourite song was, what it reminded them of, um, how much they liked it. So that'll be audience feedback. Um, and I'll be looking for tutor and peer, peer feedback, whether that's verbally or through um, feedback forms. And then reflecting on the entire process on my website. <coughs> So, thank you very much for listening. Um, I'm really excited to start the project. I cannot wait to get started. Um, and I really hope that you can join me at the launch gig. And if not, that, you, that you'll enjoy the EP at the end. Um, so, is there any questions? No. No, that was great. Thank you very much. Thank you.